I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into Poppy Playtime 3. Here in front of me, I have all the new characters from Chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime. And I'm going to turn each Minecraft mob into one of these characters. Being the last one, the coolest of all, which is the catnap nightmare that you face at the end of the game. I'm really looking forward to making this mob, but shall we start with another one, which is my favorite? It's definitely Dog Day. Obviously, there's a reason for it to be him, especially since he's a dog and I'm a dog. Well, and the number one goal for me to unlock Dog Day is for me to be able to tame a dog. Yeah, normally I defeat the mob, but I'm not gonna defeat a dog, especially since he's a dog, so it makes no sense at all. Well, for that, I'm gonna wait for it to become night, obviously. Grab some basic items here with wood, and now I'm gonna attack some skeletons because I need... Ah, uh, oh, oh, your bone, my friend. Exactly. Let me finish off the zombie too. Get out, get out, get out. I have one heart. Wait. And there. Okay. It didn't drop any bones. I'm full of arrows. So I defeated several skeletons until I gathered several bones. I think five bones should be enough for me to tame a dog. Okay. There are some ahead. I'll try to get there and see if this amount of bones will be enough. Go on, let me test. And good, didn't even use them all. I could even tame more. And our goal of taming a dog has been completed. Your name will be Dog and yours will be Day. Let's go to create Dog Day. I'm going to create a base for his body here. I'll make a square like this. And then below, a slightly smaller square. Then I'll add a base to start making his leg. Pull another cube down here, stretch. Pull one more, here, another one. Stretch this leg forward and here to make the sole. Look, it's already looking like a foot. Now I'm just gonna add the toe another toe and the other toe i'm gonna start doing the texture and start painting him the color he is in this case it's orange here i know he has a belly so his belly will be a slightly different color i duplicated the leg to the other side i'm gonna duplicate this torso here only smaller upwards to make the belly part yeah i know that in poppy playtime he's without the bottom part but i'm gonna make him without legs later i'm gonna start adding his tail duplicate and pull duplicate and stretch one more time now just stretch the biggest one and another bigger cube. Made a little tail for him that later I can animate and rotate any way I want. Look, then I can make a movement when he's walking. Now I'm going to start making the arms. The forearm, the wrist, and stretch. Pull the hand, the base of the fingers. Adds a little finger. Now just duplicate these fingers. Take the whole arm and duplicate to the other side. Look, the base of him is looking good. Well, to make the head, I think it has to be another color. So I'm going to start adding this cube in a more yellowish color and I'm going to stretch here. He has a somewhat smiling head, so I would have to make it like this. Okay, cool. If I duplicate this here down, leave him like this, then I can kind of make smurf around here. Put it like a smoothing of his mouth. You'll understand. Like this. I'm gonna pull here down. And now I'm gonna start smoothing this here to look like a more round mouth. Pull here and here. Now here in the corner, stretch and smooth until reaching the other part. Select this, duplicate, rotate, and pull to the other side. Look, you see it's forming like a smile. That's what I want to be able to add his mouth here later. Pull here up and I'll smooth the corners until it's like a circle. Stretch and complete. Look, turned out pretty cool. Duplicate and rotate to the other side. Wow, turned out really cool. Now it already has the mouth. Here on top, I need to make the eyes. I'll add a cube here. I'll duplicate this cube. Cube, pull to the side and in the same way I'm going to smooth around here to look like a round eye I'll start smoothing with the cube here one more smaller and finish do the same thing on the other side See it's already looking much softer here in the middle is just making like a base for the eye Look I made like his eye here, but from what I was seeing this part here is red now It's looking much more like dog day I'm going to add his nose here then add an eye like this now I'm going to start making the ears Add two here on the side to soften the ears. One more here. Duplicate and rotate, stretch. One more. Duplicate again. It's going to be a big ear. And lastly, a smaller one. Now it's just me smoothing from the sides of the ear until it gets round. Select all of it and duplicate to the other side. And our dog day is ready. He turned out absurdly beautiful. And look how I made dog day here in Minecraft. Well, I didn't make him attacking, because the thing is, in the game, Pop Playtime 3, Dog Day is nice. There's a scene that shows and tells us to run, because the smiling creatures will dominate him, but there in the case, he's kind of without the bottom part. Soon, a video will come out on the channel recreating the scenes of Pop Playtime 3, so stay tuned. But for now, the character will be nice anyway, so I'll let him follow me and we'll go to the next character. But before I want you guys to comment a grade for Dog Day below, in my opinion, definitely 
definitely it's 10 out of 10 because he's very beautiful. Well, now the next one we're gonna make will be Hug Nightmare. Yeah, but there's a detail. I've never recorded a video of transforming mobs into pop. So I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna make all the hugs that exist. In this case, there's Hug Nightmare, the normal Hug Hug, which is the blue one, and Kissy Missy. She's not a Hug Hug, but she's the same style, right? So I'm gonna make these three at once. I'm gonna turn him into a zombie because look, the zombie, he's kind of bluish, right? It matches. And he walks like this with his hands forward. To unlock the Hug Hug Nightmare, I'm just gonna defeat this zombie right here. Basic thing. Let me just get this one out of here. Go away. Before he hits my dog day, right? I called the dog day catnap. Sorry. So I made the hug hug first. The simplest form he has. I started with his body. Then I made the legs. The head, which was quite work because I made it the corners very smooth. And lastly, the arms. And then I took advantage of the fact that this model is the same. And I also made this missile here. I just painted it pink, basically. Well, the normal hug and kissy turned out like this in Minecraft. The only thing that changed between one and the other is the color then the bow and the eyes of kissy that have a bigger eyebrow but as i made more just for the sake of making i'll give a grade 8 out of 10 oh and if anyone wants to know the animation of hug hug turned out like this look walking very smoothly also bending the legs standing and walking he bends the legs very smoothly too overall this hug turned out cool well back here in the program to make hug nightmare i thought of editing this hug here i'll start with the teeth and hug hug nightmare he has much larger teeth so I'll copy this here for example I'll pull here to the side and I'm going to create several other teeth like much larger for him like this look keep adding here then I'll create other squares like much bigger like this look like this look and I take this style of tooth and spread it all over his mouth as hug nightmare has like many more teeth than the normal hug right so spread it like that oh I also need to do another thing ah, I need to decrease here behind look and I need to increase the size of the mouth of hugs mouth because up here it's much bigger so I adjust adjusted Hug's head to make it more pointed and big. And look, it's already taking a bit of shape. You can notice some errors. For example, inside his mouth, there are still parts that I have to fix. Because inside it's red, right? But I'll have to change the texture later. One more thing I noticed looking here at the mode of Hug is that he doesn't have the white eye. He literally only has the black eye. And it's much more stretched. I'll select this here. I'll delete. Take this eye and stretch it up. And then I'm dividing the eye in the middle. I take this part here, stretch it down. Take the top, select, duplicate, rotate it down, and bring it here. Look, Hug's eye, it's like this. Much more terrifying than the other. Just duplicate and pull to the side. Now I'm going to correct the texture, and look how he's already getting much better. Correcting his texture turned out much cooler. No more of those errors here, and now I just need to increase his body and hands. For that, I'm going to delete these tiny hands here, take them out. So I created arms and legs much longer for Hug with scarier nails like Nightmare. And look, our Nightmare Hug is practically ready. I just thought of adding a little extra detail, which is this here. Leave him with a darker texture. And then I added some scratches for him. Look, that stick to the hand. These claws he has here. So let's see how this turned out in mine. So look, I have the two hug uggs here, the original and the nightmare. Tell me which of the two you prefer and look at the size difference. This hug ug I put on his leg while the other is up here on the body already. He is a thousand times bigger and also has his walking animation. That of this hug ug here is much cooler. Look at this and him running is also much quicker look so comment below which one you liked more among these two hugs the original or the nightmare i had given this one a grade 8 out of 10 but for this one i'll give 10 out of 10 he definitely turned out much more beautiful well now i think we can go to the next right we've already made this hug and the hug nightmare so the next one is definitely catnap. I'm going to make two versions, this one here. And at the end of the video, I'll make this one here. He's just the bare bones with this giant mouth. So yeah, let's start with this one. Yeah, catnap, I think he can be a cat, right? But I'm also not going to be defeating cats. Right there in front, there's a village. So there probably should be a cat there. I'll take the opportunity and go here and get a fish so we can lure the cat and complete our goal to be able to make catnap. Just get one more little fish here and done. From what I know to tame the cat will be quite quick. Just get close to him. Hi, the problem is he runs away a lot, dude. Calm down. Come here, come here, take it. Hey, I'm trying to take out food, buddy. The cat ate my big fish. Where's the cat? Come here. It's not possible. He wants to eat but doesn't want to. Done. Dogs are better for that reason. They don't run away when they're going to get food. The cat runs away. Oh, iron golem. But all right, we completed our challenge, which was to tame a cat. 
Now we're gonna make Catnap. So I created Catnap, trying to maintain his characteristics, like the ones from Playtime, because in that case, that's his mouth. Big, with a smile. I also made the pendant he carries on his neck, which is a moon, right? Since he's about sleeping and such. Then I made his body. Put a tail to be able to make a very cool animation. And our Catnap is ready. Look how it turned out. But there's a difference. Now, yes, he is aggressive. Ah, oh, kitty, kitty. Hold on, look. There's a small important detail I forgot to mention. He releases a smoke, which is the sleep smoke. So, that makes me want to sleep. This is the power of catnap. He can make his enemies fall asleep, and this can last a good while. Oh, you stinky cat. He literally made me sleep. Okay, okay, really. I set catnap as if he were an aggressive cat, obviously, because in the game, he's the boys from Pop Playtime. Besides being able to also release that smoke, that makes you sleepy, of course. Just like in the game, when you inhale it, you kind of have some types of delusions. So, yeah. Okay, cool. I have to defeat this cat. The problem is that I'm with a wooden sword, right? It's not going to be... Ah, another thing. What did you think of his model? His walking animation turned out very good, right? Look at this. He goes on all fours and moves a lot, so I think for me, the grade for this cat here is definitely a 10. Yeah, and also this animation of him standing still here turned out very beautiful. Let's go now to our fourth character. We're halfway through. After this one, there are only two more to get to Catnap Boys. Now it's Mommy Longlegs and Daddy Longlegs. Yeah, I know it's Mommy from Chapter 2, and Daddy wasn't there, right? He's not in Chapter 2. But he has already appeared in several posters, so we know he exists. So I'm gonna make these two. To unlock mommy and daddy, I'm gonna use spiders. So mommy will be this normal spider here. Oh, the creeper. No, 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 wait, I'm gonna die. Ah, then she climbs on the thing, yeah. And for daddy spider, I'm gonna use the cave spider. Take it, take it, done. Perfect. Spider and cave spider caught. So I made mommy long legs. I started with her body. Added two parts, right? That she has the belly. Put the arms and legs. And then I made the head with that hair. To make daddy wasn't much work. I just reused the body and added the accessories. Which was the hat, tie, and painted mommy blue. And look. The two models are ready, Mommy Long Legs and Daddy Long Legs. The models themselves turned out very good, so I think they they deserve a grade 9. Yeah, 9 is great, and their animation also turned out very good. Look, kind of one leg after the other. I tried to make a very smooth animation with his leg, look. They move as if they were a spider. I find it kind of hard to animate Mommy on all fours, but this one I managed to make quite cute. So now there are only three mops left for us to make, which in this case will be Poppy, Miss Delight and Catnip Boys. But first, something I just remembered. This here is Dog Day. And yeah, he's kind of cut in half because in the game, he's like that. So I created a catnip now. But with his version being split in half, look. And his animation turned out very, very perfect. Look at this. I think it was probably the best animation I've ever done on the channel. I really liked it because it looks like he's really crawling and pulling himself with his arms. That's what he does, right? Well, then let's go to the next. Since I showed you the dog day that I had forgotten, which is Poppy. Since this video is a bit long already, I'll summarize what I did to create Poppy. I made her dress and then added all the details, like the tops and so on. Then I created the arms and legs, and then I went to the part of the head, with the hair, eyes, and mouth. And that's the result of her. And look how Poppy turned out. Yeah, in this case, she's quite small, because like, she's small in the game. But her details turned out absurd. Also, this walking animation turned out very good. Look at this, she's a little bigger than just a block, but turned out very good. There are some details about her. She's peaceful, so she's not going to hit me unless I annoy her. And obviously, she's going to hit me because she also has to defend herself. And there's a detail I also added. See this flower I have here in my hand? It's the red flower from Minecraft. But if I take it here, the name of the flower is Poppy. Exactly. Because in case you didn't know, it's Poppy. It really is a flower. There's kind of a story behind Poppy Playtime, right? So if I come here and give this little flower to her, she mounts on my shoulder, just like she does with Kissy Missy. So she's going to be like this, and that's it. I thought it would be interesting to add this cute detail, right? Because it's pretty cool. Now the penultimate. Before we make the cat and happy boys, it's it's going to be Miss Delight. And to make Miss Delight, I did just like Poppy. I started with her body, then I made the arms and legs, and then lastly, the dress and the main details of the clothes. Oh, remembering. I also had to make an item she holds in her hand, which is a ruler with a pencil ball. And then I think that was her attack tool, right? To be able to hit the students. So that's kind of weird. But the character turned out very cool. Well, this one turned out like this. Miss Delight here in Minecraft. You can see that she's standing. Exactly. She doesn't move. Just like in the game, the moment I'm looking at her. 
So I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna turn here, and then I think, ow, darn Miss Delight, get out of here. Okay, okay, there's a problem. Ow, got it on the first sword. Apart from the scare she gave me, the animation I created for her isn't 100% as I imagined. You can see that she walks smoothly, and here in the program where I created her, I had created this animation of her all stiff, not being a smooth animation, but in fact, here in the game, she's walking very smoothly. Look, okay, that's not such a big problem because it turned out beautiful, right? Let's be honest. Okay, but get out of here now because we have to go to our last one, which is Catnap Boys. And this one is going to be the best of all. So to make Catnap, I started by creating his body, then I made the four legs, his head, which was quite a lot of work because he has that big mouth down here. It's as if it's Catnap's mouth, but more stretched. And lastly, just miss the details that he has like some bones on the back and his tail. Ah, I also put the moon necklace, which turned out pretty cute. And our catnap model is ready. Look at this, probably one of the most beautiful models I've ever made in my life. Not only that, but his walking animation too, turned out amazing. Well, I always had a bit of difficulty creating animation for characters that walk on all fours, because it's not just moving two legs, like my character from mine there. I have to move these four legs together. His animation turned out perfect, because whether you like it or not, I moved each leg separately, making them as fluid as possible. Look, I put Catnap here in this red scenario because it highlights his color, which is gray a lot. This red scenario here, it's the same color as the red smoke from Pop, right? Those who played the game or saw playing know what I'm talking about. So another thing, comment below if you want me to recreate the scenes from Pop Playtime 3 here in Minecraft, including the scene where I defeat Catnap, find Dog Day, and also comment here, which was your favorite of the seven characters we created in today's video. Thanks. If you've watched the video up to to hear, comment this word that's appearing on the screen so I can know who's truly loyal. I'll give a little heart on your comment. Thanks.